So we now continue with uh, the part of exercise 24b. Now the only difference over here is that now the data what is given to you is a group data. Now what do you mean by group data? That you will be having the data in this way that there will be a class interval over there which will be like 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and then you will be having the frequency over here as let's say 5, 5, 10, 7, 3, so over here f is not a problem, f is going to be the same what we had in our earlier part also but here we do not have an x, so x is my class mark so the class mark over here is 10 plus 0 is 10, 10 upon 2 is 5, so that is 5 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 upon 2 is 15, so it will be 15, you are 25 and you are 35 so this is my x all other things remain the same f of x dhunna, fx dhunna, ya fd dhunna ya yasme, ya isme se isko mene as you mean le liya so that all things remain the same we are not changing that only, so only difference between a group data and ungrouped data is that in case of a group data you will need to find out the class mark which is your x so your x will be the class mark and then you are finding out the a and things like that so only difference over here is that you need to find out the class mark of each and every data given to you and then you are going to solve it further okay so that's the only thing but otherwise the same three methods direct method uh, shortcut method and the step deviation method are going to be used for this particular purpose so we will start with i will directly start with exercise 24b so let's start with exercise 24b so let's exercise 24b yeah for first sum that is h and so that is 16 to 18 18 to 20 20 to 22 22 to 24 and 24 to 26 accordingly my class mark will be x is equal to 17 19 21, 23, 25. We have got the frequency over here as 2, 7, 21, 17 and 3. The multiplication seems to be very difficult or in this case so I'll better use the shortcut method. So if I use the shortcut method over here I have over here b is equal to x minus a where a I'll assume as let's take it as 23 because 17 hai either so yeah 21 later, 21 so that is equal to 21 so this is 17 minus 21 will be minus 4 this will be minus 2 will be 0 2 and 4 accordingly fd will be f into d is yeah it's minus 8 then minus 14 this is 0 this is 34 and this is 12 so this totals to as 46 this totals to as minus 26 sorry not 26 okay so sigma f d is going to be equal to plus 24 the sigma f is equal to this is 9 10 plus 20 30 40 50 so mean will be equal to a plus sigma f d upon sigma f that is 21 plus 24 upon 50 so this 5 say divide karenge to it will be 0 0.5 4 is 20 and 48 so that will give you as 21.48 years so the mean 
is equals to 21.48 years for sum number 1. Clear? So this was by shortcut method. We move on to the next sum, that is third sum. Sum number 3, yeah, it is exercise 24B. <clears throat> we are going to use, they are asked us to do it by shortcut or step deviation. We will take the step deviation because we have not practiced that yet much. So, first is marks that is 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. So the class mark will first write down. That is X will be 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. The values of F are 10, 12, 14, 12, 10, 12, 14, 12, 9, 7, 6. We will take this as a assume mean. So I have got over here first is D is equals to X minus A, where A is equals to 65. So this will give me as minus 30 minus yeah minus 20 minus 10 0 10 20 30 now i is equals to 10 so t is equals to d upon i which is minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 accordingly ft is minus 30 minus 24 minus 14 0 9 14 and 18 this sums up to 8 and 6 68 and this sums up to 9 13 13 plus 8 21 41 so this gives you that sigma ft is, is equals to 7 minus 27 and the sigma f is 6 8 8 plus 9 shit okay uh, 8 and 9 7 uh, 17 17 plus 7 is 34 40 4 5 6 7 8, 8. okay sigma f is 80, oh no, it's 70. It's already given that 70, so I had to check it out. So now mean is equals to A plus sigma FT upon sigma F into I. That is 65 plus minus 27 upon 70 into 10. That will be 65 minus 7, 3s are 21, so cancellation made, 3s are 21, and then 60 is going to be there, 60, yane ho jayega, 8s are 56, and 40, so 5s are 35, and then 50, so it's 7s are. So that will give you as, is equals to mean, is equals to 65 minus 3.86 so that is going to be 61.14 so the mean is 61.14 for sum number 3 clear so that was sum number 3rd sum number 3 we now move on to sum number 5 
sum number 5. The mean of the following frequency distribution is given as such, and you need to find the value of f. So, you have got over here class interval, class mark, we will find out, and then we we'll say the frequency f. This is x. So, we have over here 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. 30 to 40 and 40 to 50. This is, uh, so this is going to be 5, 15, 25, 35, 45 as your class mark which is X and the frequencies are given to you as 8, 22, 31, F and 2. So this adds up over here to as 10, and 13 and 63 plus f over here so right this is one part now we need to find out sigma so fx so this gives you as 40 okay so this is 22 15 into 22 is 30 330, yeah. 330, this is 25 into 31, 25, 31, so 25, 0, 75, so 5, 7, 7, 7, 75, so 7, 7, 5, this is plus 35 F and this will be 90, so this totals to, this will be 5 plus 35 F and this is 5 and then uh, 9 plus 16, 16 plus 7 is 23 and 10, 11, 12, so 1, 2, 3, 5, so we have over here that mean is equals to sigma fx upon sigma f, so mean is given to you as 21, 1 upon 7 is equals to sigma f is 1, 2, 3, 5 plus 35 F upon 63 plus F. This is nothing but 7, 1, 7, uh, 7, 148 upon 7 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 5 plus 35 F upon 63 plus F. Cross multiply. That will be 148 into 63 plus F is equal to 7 into 1235 plus 35 F. So that gives you the value as 148 into 63, 24, 12, 14, 3, 4, 0, 6, 48, 4, 24, 28, and then 6, 1, 6, 7, 8. So, yeah, 4, 12, 3, 1, 9. So, it will be 9, 3, 2, 4, plus 148F is equals to, this will be 1, 2, 3, 5 into 7, 7, 5, 35, 7, 21, 24, 14, 15, 16, 7, 1, 7, 8. So, 8, 6, 4, 5 plus 7, 5 is a 35 and 3 and 7, these are 21, 24. So, it will be 9, 3, 2, 4 minus 8, 6, 4, 5 is equal to 245, F, sorry, 245 F minus 148F. Okay. So, subtraction over here, 8645, that is going to give me as 9, 1, so it will be 11, so 7, it will be 12 and 6, so 6, 679 is equals to 97, 
right? 97F. So F is equal to 679 upon 97. Okay? I think that should give us directly the 7s are, so it's 97 into 7, 7 7s are 49, <coughs> 79 into 63, 67. So that's it. So 7s are. So F is equal to 7. That's the answer. F is equal to 7. Okay, got it? That was sum number 5. We now move on to sum number 7. Okay, sum number 7. Uh, you need to find out the, from the information, find the mean. So, first thing is the class interval, class mark, frequency. So, that is the thing what is getting from the graph. It is 15 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45. 45 to 55 and 55 to 65. The values are 10, 20, 25, 10, 20, 25, 15 and 5, 15 and 5. Here the values will be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We we'll take the shortcut method. So we will take this as the assume mean. So we have over here D is equal to X minus A. A is equal to 40. So this will be minus 20, minus 10, 0, 10, 20. So that gives me FD is equal to F into D is minus 200, minus 200, 0, minus plus 150 and this will be 100. So this will be equal to this is minus 400 and this is 250. So according to this minus 150 is sigma FD. The frequency over here is sigma F is equal to this is 30 plus 30 60 675. So mean is equal to A plus sigma FD upon sigma F is 40 plus minus 150 upon 75, that's 2, that is 38. So, mean is equal to 38. Okay, very good calculations, very easy and uh, simple to do. So, that was sum number 7, which gave us the answer as 38. Okay, now we move on to sum number 9. Which is similar to that F1, F2 wala jo hum logne twenty wo A me kiya tha again. So it's an important question. So let's start with sum number nine. Okay, sum number nine. So it will be the class first, then we'll make the class mark, which is your X, then comes the frequency, which will be your F, and then we'll be having FX. <clears throat> the class is 0 to 20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80. 8200 and 100 to 120. So, of course, my class mark will be 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110. The frequencies are 5, F1, 10, F2, 7, and 8. You already given me that the Sum of all frequencies, so sum of all this frequency is given as 50. 
Or I'll write it later on. I'll just sum this up first. So it is 5, 10, 15, 15 plus 15, 30. So it is 30 plus F1 plus F2. Over here it is 50. This is 30 F1. This is 500. This is 70 F2. This is 27, uh, 2, 630, sorry. It is 630 and this is 880. So this will give you as 0, 8, 9, 10, 11 and plus 5 is 16 and then it is 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 8 is 20 plus 30 F1 plus 70 F2. So we have that sigma Fx, F sigma F is equals to given to you as 50. It's already given to you as 50. So it is 50 is equals to 30 plus F1 plus F2. Therefore, F1 plus F2 is equals to 20 or F1 is equals to 20 minus F2. We have the mean is equal to sigma fx upon sigma f. So that is given as 62.8. 62.8 is equal to sigma fx is 2060 plus 30 f1 plus 70 f2 upon 50. Okay. So it is 628 into 5. So 5s are 40, 5 to the 10, 14 and 31. So it's 3140 yeah. is equals to minus 2060 is equals to 30. Chala, this so we will not use this. Simon is use karte. So this is 30 F1 plus 70 F2. So this gives us as 2060, so 0, then 14, and so it will be 8, and 0, and 1. So 1080 is equal to 30 F1 plus 70 F2. Now you're going to multiply this one by 30. So you get it over here as 30 F1 plus 30 F2 is equal to 600 and 30 F1 plus 70 F2 is equal to 1080. So on subtraction we get over here, this gets cancelled, minus 40 F2 is equal to minus 480. So F2 is equal to minus 480 upon minus 40 is going to be S12. And F1 will be equal to 20 minus 12 is equal to 8. So F1 is equal to 8, F2 is equal to 12. So that's the answer for sum number 9 over here. So sum number 9, the answers are 8 and 12. Is it clear? So that was the end of exercise 24B. Uh, in the next part, we'll be doing is the uh, median and then the mode. So mean, mean, uh, mean ho gaya, a median and mode hai. So we shall take it in the, I think we'll take, I'll start in the next video.